Burns his letters, Marcus. Destroys them in accordance with the field mission manual article 341, so that no one else can read them. Okay, Madam Hoffman. But shouldn't we reply to these messages from the field squad? Don't bother. The secret letters are sent to all active investigators above rank 4. The squad is like the watchers of the critical points. They collect and record every event different to the ones in history and report to the Foundation. These incidents will be the index for evaluating the stability of the current era. In other words, the more reports they send, the more unstable the era is. This keeps every field investigator up to date on the situation so they can plan their next move. In the past, we have seen too many tragedies caused by a lack of information. But now, our own task is more urgent. The Circle publicly committed treason. Isold and Heinrich disappeared. Kakania became wanted. The Leopoldstadt riots and the march of the lower-class Arcanists may be directly related to them. Heinrich and Isold's speech is like the sparks that ignited the powder keg that is Vienna. The riots have been going on for days. But why was Miss Kakania wanted? She didn't act out of line in the exhibition and seemed totally unaware of the speech. All she had was the book which didn't belong to this era. Clearly Heinrich didn't tell her a thing. It is because she is the known founder of the Circle, and a middle class with no background. This is good news for us, Marcus. We can start with Kakanya. They did protect her from being wanted which means she has not been fully assimilated into this elite group of nobles. How typical of man has been dictate. We need to find her fast. Luckily, the spider tail you put on her is reacting. Dirty, disgusting officials! For a kingdom of freedom! Uh, for a kingdom of freedom? Shoot, they're attacking the Foundation branch? Focus on what's important, Marcus. Someone summoned a bunch of critters on Kertenstrasse. They're coming this way! Something's wrong with this mist. Maybe the evaporation of the arcane potion. <coughs> Devil's shoestring, judging by the smell, for better diffusivity. Marcus, <coughs> cover your mouth and nose, if it enters the foundation's branch when it clears up. Marcus, are you okay? Did the mist get you? No. Madam Hoffman, the terrorists and the people in the march, but they shouted for a kingdom of freedom. That's, that's what Miss Dittersdorf said in the exhibit, and she quoted that from Dr. Kakanya. And, and it was me! 
I told that to Dr. Kakanya. I told her about the island. I told her it's a place of freedom for arcanists. So, so I'm the one who caused this turmoil. I told them the secret of the Golden Isle and caused the chain reaction. I didn't listen to you. I'm too reckless. I lack rational thinking. I'm un stable and out of control and the one thing I can control. My arcane skill didn't help at all. You vouched for me and appointed me to the field mission from the headquarters, but I... Maybe it is like what you said. Maybe you did play a role in this era, causing a butterfly effect in history. But trying to be responsible for everything beyond one's capability is a symbol of irrational hubris. First of all, creating chaos in this chaotic time is more than easy. Just look at all the frequent ethnic conflicts, assassinations and espionage. If not the circle and is old, the manis will find themselves a different flashpoint. You never know how the leaked information will simmer. Its subsequent spread is uncontrollable, and remorse would be useless. The thing is, everyone has their own ideas about that island. Your words just deepened the expectations. As for your self-assessment, we have all heard it. Humans are more rational and arcanists are more emotional. They are sensitive to the darkness in the world so they can easily become absorbed in their own emotions and ignore reality. But if we put a human child in the position of an arcanist, who always takes on the world because of his uniqueness, who is never understood for his talents, Maybe he too will become impulsive, sensitive, immature, and unstable. And that's why it sometimes dawns on me that if we put an arcanist child in the position of a human being who receives enough love, education, and positive feedback, these instabilities might be controllable, at least enough to keep them from hurting themselves or others. Madam Hoffman? I took you away from the storm in 1912. It has been a long time after that, so I know how precious it must be for you to return to 1914. And your urge to complete the mission and go back to Romania. You are not an impulsive person, Marcus. You're just growing up. And you do need to grow. As for appointing you, it was by my own will. Because the age of humans has come to an end. The age of humans is ending? If the errors keep on regressing, human technologies would fail to accumulate. Meanwhile, arcane skills that depend largely on the individual's potential will shine. In this war of reversals, futures and time, it is you who will survive, not us. And that's why sooner or later, you'll have to go at it alone. This is the most rational assessment I can make for the continuation of civilization. Rational. But I've been doing my best to be rational as well. Even though I keep reading and practicing information analysis. I can't make a choice. What if I make a wrong choice? What if there's no right answer? What if I never told Kakanya about... 
Enough. You're getting carried away. There is nothing mysterious about rationality. It simply guides us out of confusion and straight to the essence of things. The essence? The reason why we're doing a job here is simple, Marcus. Arcanists keep going to the menace. It's because they can promise the salvation while we can't. Therefore, decoding their immunity ritual against the storm is top priority. If we can't, being isolated on a small piece of land, we're bound to meet our end in this temporal catastrophe. We're not the only investigators sent by the headquarters. So our mission is to collect every clue left by the Manus and send them back to Laplace. Everything else is secondary. Madam Hoffman, besides finding Miss Kakanya, there may be another way. That painting, the last work of Theophil, the Salvation, something's off with it. When I read it in the exhibition, I felt a familiar afflatus. It was concealed in a clever way, but I noticed the traces of concealment. Manus's arcane skill. But I couldn't read anything more from it. If we can persuade Miss Kakanya to help us with her arcane skill... Is her arcane skill similar to yours? No, quite different. I fought her once. I feel that under certain conditions, our arcane skills might be complementary. Well done, Marcus. This is something only you can do. The government has a painting now. The field agent squad can retrieve it for us. The fog has cleared. Let's go. Now we need to find Kakanya. <laughs> 